Come on in, everyone. Come on in because we are discussing the last episode of the love experiment. It's over. It's over. And the ladies made their final choices. What a surprise. Were y'all surprised by that proposal from Justin? I was absolutely surprised. I was surprised 1000% that Justin proposed. I really was. You know, I knew Justin really liked Paige. One thing I did know is that Justin really liked Paige. And I knew that when Justin was backing off, his backing off was different from the way Jamal backed off from Tam. Completely different reason. When Justin was backing up from Paige, I knew it was because he actually liked her. And what he was trying to do was he, I don't think he really wanted to be hurt. I don't think Justin really wanted to be hurt. I think he really, really liked her. I think the early head start that he had when they had that little overnighter, uh, Justin fell in love. Uh, Justin fell in love. They must have done some heavy petting. They did some heavy petting because uh, Paige laid it on him thick. And let me tell you, he never lost sight of that woman. He loved her because I think what Justin believes in real life is that good guys finish first. I think that's what he believes. I think he believes that good guys finish first. But unfortunately, people, I don't want to be cynical. I really don't want to be cynical. I don't want to be no old cynical woman. But something tells me that um, I'm not for sure about this, this so-called union. I think Justin's a really good guy, y'all. I remember back early in the season when Paige had gone. Remember Paige had kissed Chris after she had spent the night with Justin? And then Justin told that wild story to get back at Paige about I slept with um, two sisters. <laughs> and Paige was like, what? I didn't know you had that in you. And I said then that uh, I think Justin had just said that to really get back at Paige to hurt her because he really because she really hurt him when she went over there and kissed Chris. We'll come to find out that was just going to be the beginning of things because instead of talking about who Paige, crit, who Paige kissed, we would have to talk about who Paige didn't kiss. And I'm still going to stick with my original story about Paige and Paige is horny and Paige likes a lot of male attention, a lot of it. And I, and although Justin got on one knee and he proposed and she said, yes, I, I didn't doubt that she'd say yes. Now I was surprised he proposed, but once he proposed, I knew she'd say yes because Paige loves men to chase her. Paige loves for men to fall all over her. That's part of Paige's problem. She loves so much attention. And as a result of loving so much attention, she gives herself, I believe, to a lot of men, a lot of different people. She gives her. So when she keeps saying she makes wrong decisions, what Paige is actually saying to is she actually gives herself away to men too easily because Paige, I don't know. I don't know what it, I don't know if I want to call it thirsty out here because she doesn't need to be thirsty because she's such a beautiful woman, but she sure likes to drink it. <laughs> Who was that? A mosquito. She sure likes to suck up the attention and accepting this proposal was just a big glass, uh, 32 ounce of water. She sucked it all up. But do I think she's going to stick with Justin? No, because I don't think Paige is ready to live off the admiration and attention of one man. I don't, I don't think she's ready to live off the admiration and of attention of one man. I think Paige likes the attention of multiple men. So I don't know. I think uh, Justin might get his heart broken. Um, I think he might get his heart broken. Isn't Justin from the South? He's from Huntsville, y'all. Justin's from Huntsville, Alabama. He's a country boy. He's a country boy who probably thinks he's got a little city in him. He's over here with this girl from the big city of Atlanta. And um, I don't think Paige is going to just stick with Justin, unfortunately. I really don't. But he, he laid it out there because when he saw that she was struggling between him and Isaac, let me tell you, because that fireman was laying it on thick. He had that airplane ticket. He had everything. He was laying it on thick and she was about to go with him. And that's why she went back over to Justin and said, you got anything better? You got a better offer? Paige went over to Justin and said, he came with a plane ticket. Do you have a better offer? And he said, yeah, I got a better offer. I got a ring. And she says, I'll take it. <laughs> She said she'll take it, but she took it for the wrong reasons. She took it for the wrong. Paige ain't ready to sell down. 
She is not ready to settle down one bit. Cause she was about to accept that Isaac offer. She really was. She was like, come on to Atlanta. We could have a good time. We could take these photos together. Cause she really loved that photo shoot. She took with him last week, take your shirt off. And she was over here calling Justin, uncle Justin. She was saying that he was like an uncle. He was, he had older vibes to her. Justin had older vibes. Cause Justin's out here really looking. He's, I think he really does want to take care of Paige. He does. So, you know, she he, she was over here calling him uncle, but she was ready to go over here and take the shirt off of uh, Isaac. I don't know. I've grown to like Justin, but unfortunately, I think he's chosen the wrong woman. And I think in the end, a page is going to uh, break Justin's heart. I hope not. I hope not. But this is my opinion. That's what my YouTube channel is about. It's about my opinion. I don't want to wish bad on their union. I love love, so I hope they make it. But my uh, my instinct is telling me that he's not gonna be enough for her. And it's not nothing against Justin, actually. It really has to do with Paige. I'm not for sure at this point where Paige is right now, if one man is enough for Paige. I think Paige loves attention. And even if she found a man that she liked or loved, I don't know if she could give up the attention of all the other men. Hear me out. I think she would love the attention of a man, but what I'm not sure about is could Paige give up the attention from the other men? It's sometimes what you see what happen to men, men who don't want to settle down. They love the woman, they want to be with her, but they can't give up all these other women. Paige is kind of like that. Paige is really, really kind of like that. She does want to settle down. She does want one man that's going to be there all the time for her, ups and downs, her rock, do all those things she wants, but I'm not quite sure Paige could cut off the attention of all the other men. She really struggled with it. She really struggled with it. And let me tell you, she did a whole lot of lip locking, a whole lot of lip locking and tongue locking on this show. And that told me a lot. But let me go on to the next next couple who I liked or liked with their choice between the two. And that's going to be Mars. Between the two, does it mean I like Yannick? Not really. Not all the way. Because I don't even understand how Yannick is even here if Yannick was the one that called Tam a T-Rex. If Yannick was the person who called Tam a T-Rex, I don't get it. But it was clear that Mars did not have uh, attraction to uh, the other guy. I forget his name already. She didn't have attraction to him. She liked him as a person, but they never kissed. There was never any chemistry. You could see it. But she liked Yannick. And I think the part where, where Mars likes a little bit of that bad boy, a little bit of that street thug. I think the fact that Yannick, even if he did call Tam a T-Rex, that little bit of bad boy in him, that little bit of defiance that she saw actually probably made her like him. A lot of people would say, I didn't like that. I didn't like what he did. I didn't like that character flaw if he did say that. But for Mars, who's used to dealing with street thugs and people who are shady out here in the street, to her, that probably was nothing. That's probably low level very very low level and um so that would tell me that yannick has a little bit of street in him a little bit of hustle but that he's also got this other combination where mars is trying to elevate where he's got a legitimate job i think he works as like an engineer or something or a programmer or something like that he's got a regular job nine to five he's a smart guy it sounds like and i think mars is saying um i do want to elevate past the street thugs the guys going to jail the guys with the hustle, but I still need a guy who's sort of um, not in the street, but still got a little street thug in him. You know, you know what I'm talking about, ladies? She wanted a man with a little bit of thug in him. So when she found out what Yannick did, it didn't bother her that much because she needed a little bit of that. She does need a little bit of that. So um, between the two, Chuck, Chuck was his name. So between Chuck and Yannick, I think that she chose the right guy, which is Yannick. Um, but be honest with you, is Yannick really, really into Mars? I didn't really fully see it. I didn't fully see it, but between the two, I think she did choose the per first person. And now we're going to move on to Tam because she, I, you know, I, I got on her a couple of episodes ago. I got on Tam. Thank goodness she didn't choose Jamal because Jamal's not that into her. I, I mean, Jamal probably wanted her to choose him, but Jamal was struggling with his own feelings. And I think he knew that he wasn't all the way a two feet in with Tam. Because this stuff talking about I open up to you if I know you're going to like me. Um, yeah, but if you really liked her, he would have gone full throttle. He would have gone full throttle 
and Josiah actually was the better fit for Tam. Josiah was actually a better fit for Tam, and hopefully, a Tam slows down on this bossiness of hers. Even when she was sitting debating between Jamal and Josiah, she was talking about, oh, Josiah, I, I probably could teach him how to, <laughs> I could teach him. Tam is show is bossy. She loves to boss people around. That's going to be her biggest problem in relationships. She needs to stop bossing people around. She needs to stop thinking she needs to coach, teach, and boss men around. And I think she felt like maybe I could do more of that with Josiah than I could with Jamal. But one thing that I think Tam locked in on when she had that really big breakdown, when she went to Jamal and asked for some final words, and he didn't give her that much. He didn't give her that much, and she broke down, and she went back and she said, Jamal represents my past, and I don't want to go there anymore. And one thing I said was, good for you, Tam, because I've been saying that for a couple of episodes. You see, Tam likes to control men. So when you like to control men, men that don't like you become a challenge to you. You see, because what you're really after is you're after the control. You're after the dominance. You're after being able to wrangle that person in. So when you're a woman who likes to dominate, when you're a woman who likes to wrangle men, who control men, when a man resists you, when he doesn't like you, that turns you on on the inside because that presents a challenge to you. So I believe what happens to Tam is Tam chases men and likes men that don't really like her. And then she gets hurt and now she has to lick her wounds afterwards. She doesn't pay attention to the red flags in the beginning. And sometimes they're not even red flags. They're just flags that say he don't really like you. But Tam likes men that don't really like her and she chases them. And then what happens is she gets hurt by them. And when she was looking at Jamal in his face and he wasn't giving her much, he was giving her just a little bit, just a little bit to keep her in front of him, but not enough to make her really come close to him. And she said he represents her past. And what she realized was that Jamal is the type of guy she normally goes after. It's the guy that don't really like her all that much. He likes her a little bit. He likes her enough to take her out. He likes her enough to sleep with her, but he doesn't like her enough to treat her right and marry her. Another girl comes along that makes him want to do that. And what she finally realized was that was who Jamal was. But here was jo Josiah willing and ready to give his heart, really willing to give his all. Whether it works or not, Josiah was, is ready and willing to give it his all. And she was still trying to figure out, is it Jamal or Josiah? I'm glad she chose Josiah. I really am. But the part I'm worried about, uh, Tamara, is, is she healed? Is she going to try to run over Josiah? Is she going to take Josiah for granted because Josiah isn't going to be enough of a challenge for her? And she has that old toxic trait where she likes to chase men who don't really like her. So the minute a man likes her, she's going to become disinterested. That's what I'm worried about with Tamara. Not necessarily is Josiah going to mess it up, but is Tam going to mess up this reunion? That's what I'm most concerned about. I don't know. But I like the ending of the show. I enjoyed the show enough. I know some of you fell off. Some of you didn't watch it. I did watch last week. I just didn't have a chance to do the um, recap of it. So I still hope that they bring it back again next season because I did enjoy the show. And in the end, what a surprise ending. What a surprise ending. But y'all tell me what you think. What do you think down in the comments about the ending? Do you think the ladies chose the correct man? And uh, that's it. Hopefully all of y'all going to move on over with me to Mary at First Sights coming up and also on OWN TV, uh, Make a Move. I'll be doing reviews on those two shows. Um, Ready to Love is over with, so I'm done with that. So the two new shows will be Make a Move and um, Mary at First Sight and Love is Blind is wrap up. I think Love is Blind may have a reunion, but hopefully I'll see you guys over there as well. Talk to you later. Bye.